Hey guys, Harley here from Cycling Harley. I've just woken up to the news of Shimano um, revoking their use of DI2 um, functionality on the Karoo um, head units. And I just wanted to do a bit of a reaction video because um, I was actually thinking of buying a Karoo yesterday. Um, I did a, my longest ride ever with uh, a lot of climbing and uh, I've, I've got a Garmin and I use the, uh, the climbing features quite a lot. Uh, shows you the grades, um, all that sort of stuff, and how far the distance is and all that. And Hammerhead's Karoo 2 um, recently was reviewed as having the best climbing functionality. Um, so to wake up this morning and see that uh, Shimano have actually retracted uh, the use of the DI2 functionality is is uh, something that yeah, has actually affected me personally. So just wanted to do this um, video uh, and just get some reactions on what you guys think and inform anyone that hasn't seen the news yet. It's sort of, it's sort of unprecedented from what I can see um, and it does have a bearing on your use of um, Shimano and then also if you've got a Crew 2 already, Okay, so DI2 is the electronic shifting from Shimano. That's what they call it. Um, uh, SRAM has the ETAP, um, Shimano has DI2. What happened recently is Karoo was bought out by SRAM, which is obviously Shimano's main competitor. And with all the head units, all the brands of different head units, you can actually, with your electronic shifting, go into the head unit, uh, which is a really great function just to check all your gearing so you can as you adjust your gears it shows up on the screen also uh, you can use the there's these buttons on the hoods um, which are sort of hidden but they're there to change the screens on now I run about I think seven screens on my Garmin six or seven and I've changed through that constantly um, on my rides without having to uh, swipe uh, with your finger on the touch screen so it's a really really cool thing okay now what's happened is because the SRAM's the main competitor, um, they've revoked the, the use of anyone with Shimano DI2 being able to use it on the Karoo. You can still use it right now, but as of the next update, they're gonna wipe it. Now, if you own a Karoo and you own DI2, you'd be pissed. I would be pissed, I really would. Um, it, you then, now you can't use it. Um, now, because it's business, and this is how our business is run, um, hopefully they can strike some sort of a deal, which I think they'd be mad not to, because I think it's gonna have a bigger repercussion if they don't, um, is my personal opinion. But until we hear about that, you can't do it. So you can't use it. So the biggest things for us as consumers is if you already own a Shimano unit like myself, DI2, and you were thinking about getting the Karoo, you now won't. So obviously that affects the Karoo sales. The other flip side is if you own a Karoo and you were considering buying the new DI2 Shimano stuff, you probably won't, um, or you would think twice about it. So it's going to affect both of them, um, in my opinion, on that on that front, just the purchasing of the equipment. But from my understanding, what it was is the rights to get the DI2 information to different head units, so the brands of head units, um, the different brands of head units that wanted to get Shimano's information, they would just ask Shimano, they would get the info and they could use it on the head unit. It was never a uh, just an open uh, sourced um, function that you could have. They would just always allow it though. So now that there's a main competitor uh, with a head unit, they've said, well, look, we're not gonna actually allow that. Uh, whereas the other brands have just had it as an open source. So no matter who you are, you can just use it. Um, you don't need the permission of the other brands, etc. So Shimano sort of invoked uh, uh, something that you can do in business just the way that they've had it, but no one really thought that they would. So look, that's the business side of it. Sort of get that. Uh, but I think it's a bad move. It'll, it'll it, I reckon it'll be sorted out. Now, guys, just I'd love to get your comments on it. Um, it's affected me, so I know what I think, and you've heard that. Um, if you've got any thoughts on it below, would you go out and buy a Karoo unit now? If you've got Shimano, um, if you've got Karoo, would you buy Shimano? Uh, things like that, or would you just buy a different unit? So yeah, guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, like the video if you like reaction videos. Um, I can do more of them. Um, if, even if they don't affect me, I can still do them. Um, and yeah, just remember to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.